Hi, my name is Bruce Young. This coming semester, I'll be teaching a class titled Exploring Paradise Lost. Uh, it will take place Mondays from 1 to 2 p.m. And it will start on Monday, September 16th at 1 p.m. at the Provo Senior Center, part of the, the Provo Rec Center. You've probably heard of Paradise Lost. Some of you may even have read it. But I'm going to describe it a bit for those of you who may not know much about it. Paradise Lost was written in the 1600s, about 350 years ago, by John Milton, who's considered one of the most important writers in the English language. He's often classed, along with Shakespeare and Chaucer, and not to mention Dante and Homer and Virgil, as one of the world's truly first-class writers. Paradise Lost is Milton's most important book, and it's one of the greatest epics of all time, and certainly the greatest epic in the English language. But it's also one of those books that everyone feels like they ought to read and very few actually do. So one of the purposes of this class will be to encourage you to actually read Paradise Lost, the whole thing. Um, along the way, I'll do my best to help you to understand, not only to understand and appreciate it, but also to enjoy it. Paradise Lost is beautifully written and filled with insight. And even more than that, it's a book filled with spiritual beauty and power. Uh, some of you may remember uh, a year ago when I taught a class on uh, great poems of the English language, we read a few excerpts from Paradise Lost. And I still remember the feeling in the room that day. It felt as if we were experiencing something holy. I hope we'll have some of that same experience this coming semester. Paradise Lost presents Milton's account of the war in heaven, of the creation of the universe and of the first humans, of the temptation and fall of Adam and Eve and their expulsion from the garden. And after that, a preview of all of human history from that point onward. Along the way, Milton deals with a lot of important issues, the character of Adam and Eve, what kind of people they are, the character and psychology of Satan, what's his motivation, what makes him tick, Satan's tactics in tempting Adam and Eve the consequences of the fall, and the question of whether the fall was ultimately a good thing or a bad thing. And finally, how God offers hope and forgiveness, especially by revealing to Adam and Eve his plan for their happiness and redemption. I think the most valuable thing that we'll discover in Paradise Lost is the way that it wrestles with issues that all of us have to deal with in our own lives. Uh, issues like uh, discerning between good and evil, exercising agency, dealing with temptation and sin and repentance. Much of the focus of the epic is, epic is on relationships, and it's especially powerful in the insights that it offers about the relationship between husband and wife and between humans and God. As the first to experience the challenges and opportunities of human life, Adam and Eve set the pattern for all of us who have come after learning about them is a profound way of learning about ourselves. And so exploring Paradise Lost will be an opportunity to experience a powerful, beautiful, and highly influential work of literature, and at the same time to explore the meaning of our own lives. Plus, if you keep up with the reading, you'll finally be able to say that you've read one of the world's great epics. I hope you'll join us in spending 10 weeks exploring Paradise Lost.